Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and I'm here with Martin's new HD28E. This guitar is part of Martin's new reimagined standard series, uh, and as such, it's kind of a variation on the classic HD28 uh, that takes into consideration a few things that have been really popular with different Martin guitars that they have integrated into the new standard series this year. And uh, this guitar also uh, includes Fishman's Aura VT Enhance Electronics. And it's a great example of one of Martin's standard series guitars uh, that are essentially uh, true to the classic design. There's no cutaway, nothing outwardly that would make it appear like an acoustic electric guitar right away, but that still includes state-of-the-art electronics. So when Martin first introduced the HD28 back in the late 70s, it was kind of the first model that they reintroduced with some of their vintage specs, which by the 70s had sort of disappeared. The dreadnoughts didn't have scalloped bracings anymore. Uh, herringbone had disappeared. And the HD28 was kind of the first uh, guitar that could be considered like a vintage reissue of, of kinds. And as such, the HD28 really has become a classic in its own right. It's a very popular guitar. Uh, it's received a few updates over the years, um, but right now, uh, this year with the reimagined standard series, uh, the guitar now has the um, high performance neck taper, it has the modified low oval shaped neck, it has a slightly wider profile, it's one and three quarters at the nut. Uh, the guitar now has open back vintage style tuners, it's got forward shifted scallop bracings, and of course, like a D28 should always be, it has a spruce top, in this case, Sitka spruce top and it has rosewood back and sides and HD28s have typically had Indian rosewood which is what Martin used on this as well. But since this particular guitar that I'm holding is the HD28E which includes the Fishman Electronics, let's have a closer look at the Aura VT Enhanced Electronics package uh, that is not only found in this model but also in several other of the new standard series guitars. Okay, you just heard me play the uh, HD28E plate through this Fishman SA330X uh, sound system here, uh, but because the electronics are all on the inside of the guitar, you really can't tell that they're there. So Martin was kind enough to send me a guitar's top with the components installed, so you can take a look at what goes on sort of under the hood with this uh, Fishman system. At the heart of it is the acoustic matrix pickup, and that's a very popular under saddle guitar pickup. It's been used in many different kinds of Fishman systems, and uh, it's a proven design. Uh, it's a popular aftermarket pickup, and it's also used on many Martin guitars and guitars by other manufacturers. And this goes under the saddle of the uh, of the guitar. But in the case of this HD28E and many other standard series uh, Martins the acoustic matrix pickup is part of a larger system, in this case the Aura VT Enhance. And um, the Aura part of the system refers to the fact that there is a Fishman Aura image involved. And the Aura images, of course, are um, a kind of sound processing that is generated by recording an actual guitar or a model exactly like it and uh, creating what Fishman calls a sound image that is superimposed to the pickup's direct signal and really recreates the acoustic voice of the guitar by processing that signal in just the very special way that is unique to this guitar. Some earlier systems have included several aura images so you could switch back and forth, uh, but with these new um, Aura VT enhanced systems, there's one dedicated Aura image in there and it's always on and I think that's a great way to do it because there's no questioning as to which sound is, is the better one, is the best one. It's just dedicated to this, to this one guitar and it's integrated into the preamp. So the preamp of this guitar is mounted directly here uh, to the end pin. There's also a battery box right here and uh, as you can see the leads go uh, to a control unit. Um, in the uh, bass side of the sound hole, which has controls for volume and tone. And the tone control is an interesting one in that rather than just being a bass and treble roll off, um, it's either flat or the more you dial it in, you kind of get a mid range scoop to take away some of the, uh, uh, the harsh mids that can sometimes be a problem uh, in a loud performance situation uh, when you're amplifying an acoustic guitar. So that's a very smart way of doing it. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate that a little bit later once I'm plugging back into the system. Um, the enhance uh, part of the system refers to the fact that the system has a second pickup, and that's called the enhanced transducer. And uh, you can see it right here. It's mounted to the bridge plate. Um, the bridge pins would be right behind here on, on a standard top. 
And what that does is it picks up the direct vibrations of the top rather than uh, the, the signal that's underneath the saddle, which the acoustic matrix uh, pickups takes care of. Now, one of these kind of transducers by itself um, can sometimes be problematic in that it creates, uh, it's prone to feedback at very high volumes, but used together with another pickup system, it can really enhance, as the name suggests, the overall tone and create a much more three-dimensional sound by being able to uh, have almost a microphone-like quality in terms of if you're tapping the top or creating more of an airy sound uh, that a pickup alone uh, would have a hard time getting. In this case, it has its own volume control as well, so you can blend in just however much of it you want to the overall system. Uh, and so overall, uh, the system is self-contained. Um, if you turned it around in the guitar, you would basically not see that it's there unless you looked into the sound hole. You could see the controls. Um, and uh, it's a very unobtrusive system with a lot of power, a lot of different options, uh, and just a great overall sound. So let's plug back in and see what the uh, HD 2080 sounds like. OK, so I've got the HD 2080E plugged back into my uh, Fishman SA330X uh, system here. And I'm going to start out uh, with the system completely flat. I, I have the EQ wheel in the flat position, and I'm not adding the enhanced pickup. So right now, all you're hearing is the under saddle pickup, which of course is going through the Aura image. <laughs> that for a straight pickup signal, that's already a very good sound. I would be very happy to use that in a lot of situations. Um, if I did want to uh, try the little mid-scoop a little bit, I want to set it to the full position right here. of a smoother voice this way. It tames some of the mid-peaks that, uh, that, that you can sometimes hear on an acoustic guitar, and especially at higher volumes on stage, it would be a great feature to have uh, that's probably more useful than a simple bass or treble roll-off or, or addition to that, to that signal. Now, if I, uh, I'm going to keep it in this position because I kind of like that smoothness of that sound. If I wanted to add the enhanced uh, pickup, um, you can tell right now, if I tap the top, you really don't hear very much. If I turn this all the way on and add this, you suddenly have a whole different level of sort of aliveness to the guitar. And uh, if you're using percussive techniques, that's great. But it also tends to just add a little bit of dimension to the overall sound. Uh, so I'm going to turn it back off for a second. And then if I turn it all the way on, definitely hear a little bit bigger sound, a little bit more dimension in there. I think the combination of the uh, pickup with the aura sound and the enhanced pickup uh, is really a winning combo uh, because it gives you a bigger sound, sort of gives you the best of both worlds from the uh, direct top sensitivity to a really great under saddle uh, sound uh, that is really the foundation of your sound and you can use at high volumes, low volumes, really in the range of, of situations. But having the enhanced pickup to add to it uh, gives you flexibility and the possibility to kind of tweak your sound uh, really to its most natural. Now, of course, an HD28 is a great acoustic guitar, um, and it's great to see Martin and Fishman working together uh, to add a state-of-the-art electronic system to a guitar that's really a classic, a classic dreadnought. Uh, but let's also listen to it played acoustically, and I'm going to get Peghead Nation's Scott Nygaard uh, to do some flat picking on it, so you can see what it would sound like in a typical dreadnought acoustic setting. <laughs>
So that is the Martin HD28E. It's a very cool new concept uh, to combine this classic Dreadnought uh, in the latest version with some of these reimagined standard series features um, and to add the uh, state-of-the-art Fishman electronic package. Having the Aura VT enhanced setup in here really uh, would make this a great stage guitar. You could use this in the recording studio as well. Uh, the Aura signal uh, combined with the enhanced soundboard transducer leads to a big sound. It's a great system, and um, I definitely recommend you check these out, uh, whether in the HD28E or any of the other standard series Martins that include this pickup system. So head over to your Martin dealer and give them a try, and please come back here to Packhead Nation for more of our gear demos. My name is Taya Gherkin.